assist him falling through. His hair, kick his hair. Yeah. Uh, also, I tried to follow him. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. The guy generally, he just gets away from you. All right? But what you have to practice is, in your mind, don't so much keep your techniques as individuals, all right? But take the five of them, link them together, and that's one big technique, all right? But I catch you in step three, I catch you in step four, all right? And well, then, I like catch you in step one, but I'm not worried about it if you get away from me. A lot of times, I like it. A guy gets away from the first one, this makes it more fun. And you go, all right, okay. Well, it's like a tease, but you get him anyways, all right? And it's a lot of fun. Uh -huh. yeah. A lot of times what can help you, if you're going through the road, coming back, just stand up. Uh -oh. Alright? <laughs> he's in a hole. Hey, he's rolled over in his ass and I'm on my feet. <laughs> Alright. Uh -huh. And a lot of times he's going to look up and go, whoa. Just like that. Alright? So in here. Come on. You kind of just walk on, on the arm line. Okay. So we all can try this one. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, here we go. Turn your bike around. Stand up, stand up. You broke. Get up. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, 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 I'm rolling you? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're doing it to me. I'm holding you. Oh, now. let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. I'm going to beat you to the gun. Do it on. Go on, go, go. Stand up. And there you go. Yeah. So he's not expecting you to stand up also. He's not. He's thinking you're going to roll with him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just stand up and say, what are you doing? All right. Just like that. So you guys want to try it? Let's try it. We find is when it comes to the standing up part, right? Certain individuals are a little bit heavy on their feet, you know. And before they they don't even know it, but they actually changed position twice before they stood up. Okay, they're standing up right out of the person's roll. So as they're rolling on the floor, you're just walking right beside them. By the time you stop, you got knee on position, you got knee on the stomach. All right, that's usually three points, and on top of that. You start. You look smooth, <laughs> all right? You know, but sometimes the general tendency is the person has rolled, you change position, boom, and then you stand up. If you already change position twice, don't stand up. All right? You just have to pay attention to it, because you're supposed to stand up right out of it, nice and smooth. Okay, okay he's got my head. Trap it up. Okay, I walked right in. Right off of his roll, okay? Many times I'm walking and watching him roll beside me. Okay, rather than you want to try to go like this, but here I just roll, and then you stand up. By that time, it's too late. Okay, you have to be ahead of them. Right, and just flow through with the person. Okay, okay. and you notice how I have good control of the arm. I'm ready to just fall into the arm lock. Okay, because his arm's like dead straight. <laughs> That was straight from the beginning. As soon as I did the arm escape and then did this, his arm was straight all the way through there. I'm going to just flip over and do an arm lock. Walk beside him and do an arm lock. Okay? Okay, I'm going to score him. Let's get this one. We're going back to the beginning again. Alright? Back to the same position. Stepping over. Alright, here. You see how he keeps a nice high base? All right, I got at this a lot of times, very difficult for a lot of people to work with. Okay, because not only that, everything is really hard to reach. All right, because he's so big. All right, and other times, a lot of times we're going to do switch work. Right. I see the technique he did to me on the All right, a lot of times when guys are coming through, some guys will push your knee down and they'll do a switch out. All right, what you want to do, you want to pin this through here. Keep this up, and you don't roll over there, okay? That's why we gotta take your time, <laughs> okay? You gotta take your time. You go in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay? This is all footwork, guys. We gotta go home and juggle your baby sister on your feet. <laughs> 
See this foot? See the switch? All right, if I get this leg over, I got something that looks like this. Okay, it was completely behind. We're going to go for it nice and slow. Okay. Best thing to do, guys, after this, you have to start doing this technique. Eyes closed. We're going. Okay. Okay, that's your wrong. Now, he just turns his pelvis around to you. If you can take advantage of it with your feet, you can get the roll over. Okay, you slow it down a little bit. Okay, switch. See my foot? I'm lingering all here. A lot of times just roll over, not the other direction. Okay, my roll. If his hands on my head. Okay. The catch to that, if his hands on my head, I can't get my head out, but he's got no base. Alright? If he takes his hand away from base, push my head under. Okay? His hand's right there, switches his hip over. Okay? See my feet together. Okay. Tricky roll, you may not necessarily get this one, but you'll be able to feel other rolls with it. Off of the principle, the idea. Okay. Okay. Next time I get happy roll. <laughs> This side, just like we did earlier, with the hands are coming around. Okay, switch it back in. I'll make your own. Okay, but the switch out will work only if he switches his feet. Nice. Right, me switch. Okay. So, oh. switch your feet. Wait for a partner to switch his legs. This one goes in between, right here. Okay, this is the position we're all looking for. Okay, he's nice and light. Okay, he's sitting right on your pelvis. Okay, again. Put it down. Look in. The longer the guy's legs are, the easier it is to do. When he's a shorter person, you don't necessarily have to catch his wrist. Right? You'll be able to roll him over with your hook in, and you'll be able to pop him up over the side. That guy is a short person, the center of gravity will be closer to you. Alright, up on top of you, if he's maintaining control of your head at the same time. It's an, it's an ideal situation. <laughs> That's what will happen in the back Alright. Any questions? No? This one ain't easy. <laughs> I have, uh, All right. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, with my switch out, but if I completely pass, you would just come around. Yeah. I'm going to come around. I'll be, I'll sit up on my butt with you. Okay. Watch, guys. Yeah. Got the switch out. I'm coming up with him. So this hand here is making control. I split my head out. Thank you. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay. I can feel it, guys. As soon as he makes that pyramid of Egypt, <laughs> he's just moving that guy. I know he's gonna roll. All right. So, uh, any questions? No. All right. Good cool. Let's get the long legs and everything. Poor little legs just fit in there. You know. Whereas lost guys with the big thick legs. You know. He didn't rip his underwear before getting there. Uh, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we're looking at it versus those two. So, uh, you should do it first. Don't you? Just look at where his head is relative to his head when he does it. Okay. And the legs. Okay. You see how low he is versus the other person? Okay. It's really hard for him to get in the center of gravity to pull him over, all right? 
because this guy's switch out isn't the biggest switch out in the world. All right, it's very short and everything. So when he sits, he's sitting very low. So it feels like you have to like pull him up on top of you first before you can roll him over. No, first it's just rolling him. First you have to pull him on top of you, then roll him over. I'm pretty sure some of you guys feel that, right? And right, when you get to that position, the easiest thing to do is not to go for the roll. Catch the hook. Right, he's not feeding for the hook. You gotta feed for the hook. Which one? The one the other leg has to go under, yeah. The hook right. underneath his leg. Yeah. Just kick him out straight now. Kick him away from you. Kick your legs and come up. That's the easiest way. Instead of trying to roll him, you use it, the opportunity to get mobile and get him back. Alright, we're supposed to do that. Okay. It's like pulling the camera up on top of a little green. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna fall off. I'd rather balance the camera up on top of the camera. Alright. So it's really it's really effortless for her. So let's face it, man, anywhere she's under him, she's under him. <laughs> Alright, there's no really any room for her to be on the side or anything. If he's on top of her, he's on top of her. She's gonna get smooshed and he's gonna roll off. Alright, whereas these guys, the size difference is too close. You know, he could have half his body on top of him and have still have enough weight on one side to make it very difficult for him to pull over. But when you run into that problem, it's fine. So one time from here, he goes to the top. You start opportunity to just get mobile. You won't be able to catch it. This is just way. You won't catch it. This is going. He's getting tired. All right, he's running around on floors. I'm on my feet practically, or most of the time I'm just sitting on him. Okay. Yeah. Don't reach too much. <laughs> yeah, I know if you're reaching for my feet, nobody's guarding your neck. <laughs> this is a really frustrating position, situation. Because the problem is, you're saying to yourself, he's got no hooks in. Right? <laughs> I should look at him off. He's got no hooks in. All right, but the problem is, I don't want my hooks in. I want to stay mobile. All right, because if he's a big guy, getting in here, in here, he's got those arms, he grabs my arms, getting a choke from this position now can really, really hard. And he starts to plow his way out of your guard. All right? I thought I was just better off just staying off of him. All right? Where we're going? Let's get going. In judo, a lot of times guys with turtle, right? They're a turtle. They're allowed to put their hooks in. But a lot of times judo guys defend off of it. Right. right? You take a good judo guy, he'll stay there, turtle, for all day. You ain't doing nothing to him. You gotta like, you guys are like, hold on a sec, go in the back room, get a bat. That's the only thing you can do. Alright? Most of the times guys are it's like they're hibernating, right? <laughs> 
got a book in there and everything. You can't do anything. <laughs> right? So one time, I kind of realized, I go, something's going on here, you know? He 